Our next caller is Harrison from Delaware. Hey, what's up, Harrison? How can we help you? Hey, guys. So my question is focused around athletic performance. I'm a rugby player, and a lot of the programs that I followed in the past are either focused around performance or aesthetics, and there's never really a combination of both. And obviously, I want to look good. So I was just wondering if there was a way to train for both at the same time or what you guys recommended? Yeah, that's a, it's a very- Sexy athlete bundle. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, yeah. a very common question. So I'm gonna ask- I, I if see, you have a face like Sal, there's nothing you can do about nothing. that. Nothing, you can't, <laughs> no, no exercise yeah, or diet yeah, will make you handsome yeah. like Adam. Can't fix ugly. So hold, so I, gotta, I, I see in your notes here that you're 19, you're 6'2 and 235, is that is that correct? Yes. All right, so you're you're a big boy. You're a uh, like, if you don't mind me asking, do you know what your body fat percentage is? Or if, maybe, because I can see you on camera. Can I see your abs? I want to give it a, a maybe, good idea yeah, of what your body fat is. Maybe a nude picture. No, no nude yeah. pictures. <laughs> oh Just let, let me see your abs. Okay, so you're at athletic body fat. So your your body fat percentage is shredded, but you're not like super overweight. You're a moose, by the way. It's that genetics, you know? You have like, like a trail to happiness. Yeah, you're a big boy. All right, so here's a... <laughs> Whoa. I'm just saying. Whoa, Justin. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal, okay? You're, you're 635, six, uh, excuse me, 235, 62. You're a big dude, okay? Your, your body fat percentage isn't that high. It means you got a lot of muscle. If you just got a little leaner, I think you'd be... You get the bo the best of both worlds. In fact, a little leaner. You don't have to get shredded, honestly. I think if you drop like 4%, you'd see your abs. And you'd be very happy with your aesthetics. This is more of a diet thing than yeah. it is a yeah. exercise thing. I would say, because rugby is such a physical, strength-focused sport, that if you just train for performance in rugby, you'll have the muscle, you'll have the shape. All you got to do is get a little leaner. I mean, literally, I think 4% body fat loss, you'll be totally fine. And honestly, all you need to do to, to, to get there is drop your calories by about 500 calories probably a day and monitor your performance. Make sure it's not such a big cut that your performance declines. And then watch yourself slowly get leaner. And as you get leaner, the aesthetics are going to show well, up. Well, if you're anything like me and you've stuck with performance style training forever, and then all of a sudden you get yourself into like a hypertrophy phase where you know your focus is is more on like higher reps uh and you know you're isolating movements uh it, it's, it's going to add a whole new stimulus to your body that you're going to respond to so you know that's something too to consider is like really just implementing that plan for you know a few months even to just like shake it up and give your body a whole new stimulus is going to do all kinds of new things uh that you know you're going to benefit from i mean we wrote the sexy athlete bundle for this exact question though i mean that's 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 the programming, what it looks like. And then to kind of Sal's point, I would pick days when I, I don't need to go and perform on the field or if you've got practice. I would pick days where you are home or off and make them low-calorie days, and that'll lean you out. So low-cal days on days that you don't need the fuel or after, like let's say you, you fuel your body – for practice or fill your body for game or wherever we're at in the in the season you fill your f fuel your body for that and then post afterwards you know lower calorie restrict so put yourself in a little bit of a deficit and you'll lean out because again you probably do have the physique right there you're carrying just a and by the way too if you were probably to ask i'm sure you'll get comments on the youtube channel since sal got you to lift your shirt up i'm sure you're gonna get plenty of comments that will tell you you look you look great already yeah he's probably sitting at like 16 maybe percent body fat oh he looked leaner. He yeah, 15 even, he yeah. leaner not if he, at the most right you, you know you drop about four percent i mean he's a big dude i, I mean I, look i'm gonna make a guess here you're 62 235 19 years old you're probably eating a lot am mm -hmm. i am i right or am i wrong yeah he's yes. not, yeah yeah you, you probably eat like a horse so if you cut it a little bit and kept training the way you did mm -hmm. you know getting leaner makes a tremendous difference on aesthetics. There's people that don't even work out, barely have any muscle. They just get lean. Yeah. And all of a sudden they, they look, look aesthetic. ripped. Where, where are we in the season right now? Are we in season or we I don't I don't follow rugby. What's uh, where are uh, we at? For the collegiate season, we're approaching preseason in late August. Okay. okay. So now are so you right now, what's your yeah, what's your training look like for it? Uh so I'm basically building up it's a lot of hang cleans, back squats, pull-ups, a lot of movements to generate power. And it's slowly getting heavier, like pushing 85% of my max for each lift at around five, four, three reps. 
Mm. Now, yeah. are you doing now? Obviously, not every training session is that, is it? I mean, you're not you're not trying to max out or hit PRs every workout, are you? No. Okay, so I mean, on on non PR chasing or non scrimmage days, I'm going to hit you low cal. I'm going to drop your calories a little bit lower. If you if you don't know where you're at currently, track for a couple of weeks to get an average, and then set a goal for four of the days in the week you're under calories by 500 or so and then the only times i'm going to feed you over is when i know we're going to go mm -hmm. after like a, a PR switch to light beer yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's my advice yeah. yeah you know it's you know we always whenever we answer questions we always think of okay does will this person benefit from something that we offer and can we give it to them for free honestly the thing i think you'll benefit the most from being an athlete at your age with the training you're doing is maps prime pro honestly to prevent injury and improve mobility and then for nutrition i mean we have our intuitive nutrition guide i think that'll help you a little bit you could also go to maps macro.com to get an idea of how many calories and macros but you have to fine tune it to your individual body so i'll send you the the maps prime pro and the intuitive nutrition guide and honestly i'm telling you right now if you cut your calories a little bit and you know justin you know he made a joke about light beer but i've trained people like you and honestly, a young male like you, active, lots of muscle, oftentimes it's a small. Oh yeah, it's like the, it's, it's like don't eat donuts oh, on Saturday. Exactly. Boom. It's totally like cut out the pizza yeah, on man. Saturdays or stop the sour patches every day, or it's normally something like that I can find in my young athletes. What's like, what's the worst shitty food you eat on a regular basis? Be honest. Uh, tacos. I'm a big taco guy. Oh, Damn, I'd hate to yeah, tell you not yeah, to eat tacos. I don't want to get rid of those. Another one. Give me another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it would be racist to get rid of tacos. Let's not do that. Yeah. Deep dish yeah. pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, cut cut your taco intake by a third. You'll probably drop four yeah. percent just from that. Yeah. Seriously, instead of ordering, you know, five tacos, order three. Are you not drinking? Are you not drinking on the weekends or anything like that? I know you're underage. We shouldn't be. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Man. Allegedly, uh, there there are rugby team activities <laughs> okay. like once a week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, so yeah. I know I played rugby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shoot the boot. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I would just it, it's real, it's really going to be a cow thing. We would recommend the training protocol but you've got uh, you probably have programming pre yeah you know? yeah you have you probably have programming that's already set for you that you should be following so we're not going to deter you from what we would recommend as far as training i've been with sal you know cut back on some of the calories prime pro to kind of prevent energy injury and stick we'll, to that we'll send you prime pro and the intuitive nutrition guide and then just cut the calories down just a little bit and then see what yeah, happens yeah. and then send sal a nude update in six <laughs> don't weeks. do that yeah. don't do that yeah. he knows he at wants least that. not at all he wants okay. that <laughs> thank you guys no problem man thanks for calling in yeah you know it's funny when well you're just getting you're getting people to lift their shirt up now one, per, one like, person wow. all you gotta do is call for it yeah i, I know, I know. Yeah. wow yeah so you know it's you know what's so you know what's interesting about this i remember because i was always trying to bulk right my 99 percent of the time i was training trying to bulk and i'll never forget you have a similar story adam the one time i yeah. finally said okay i'm gonna actually try to get lean yeah and People were like, whoa, you got so much bigger. Oh, mm -hmm. my God, I can't believe you built so much muscle. I'm like, I didn't. All I did was get leaner. Getting lean does so much for aesthetics. Especially uh, somebody yeah. like you or myself or a guy like this who's an athlete who's probably training his entire body. So he's he's built- He's got the muscle. Yeah, he's built muscle on his entire body. Whether he thinks he has or not, he yeah. has. If he peels down a couple layers of body fat- He'll just define it even more. Yeah, you'll you'll see it for sure. My only thing challenge with someone like that would be, I don't want it to get in the way of our progress of what's- Because here's the thing- I like your advice of the off days. That was very, very good advice. Right, I, I, that's what I would do. I mean, he could even- potentially if it's a full day off of everything he could mm -hmm. fast yeah, you yeah. know to really reduce reduce the calories down right that now again we've talked about fasting not a great strategy for losing weight i think with his he probably just overeats or just eats a lot you know young athlete so yeah. probably okay for him yeah yeah i totally agree and i and i and what i don't want to do is uh, obviously he's a, a collegiate level yeah. athlete so you don't want to get in the way of him yeah, performing on the field yeah i don't I mean all to see what a couple abs for a little mm -hmm. while i mean that's silly so i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to ruin that so I, that would I, my most concern would be that is like hey we can get lean right now but I don't want to chase that so it's, much. It's so like. funny though. I've trained a, a few people like this, it, especially young men, and it's literally normally you have to like watch someone's food. And okay, no, you made a good point. Literally, it's like, oh, I just stopped eating donuts on Saturday and I got lean. It's like, holy cow! But dude. even a sport like that, that's so much running and explosive movement, like it always helps for you to kind of cut down a little bit so you're more athletic and sure. and faster. Like yeah. I think that's a a big 
issue with a lot of athletes out there. They want to get big and be able to, you know, really dominate. But, you know, you, you need to be able to be uh, as quick and fast as possible. Well, I mean, if Sal is right in his guess on 15% or so body fat, I mean, if he brings himself down to 10% body fat. Yeah, he'll be yeah. flying. Yeah, at his size. That's a good athletic body fat. You got yeah. abs and everything. Yeah. 